Hello, and welcome to this episode of Life Enthusiast Google Hangout. We're so glad that you could join us today for our discussion about magnesium. We're going to be talking about its role in the body, some common symptoms, and conditions that are associated with magnesium deficiency, and also some of our favorite products here at Life Enthusiast that can help you restore your health. Just before we get started, let's do a brief introduction. My name is Suzanne. I'm the Social Media Marketing Director with Life Enthusiast. And joining us today is Martin Patella, our founder and health coach and CEO. Thank you for making the time to meet with us today, Martin. It's really my pleasure, and thank you for the intro. OK, then let's get started. Magnesium is involved in the uh, autonomic nervous system together with calcium. They're like two sides on a seesaw. When one goes up, the other one goes down. Magnesium uh, activates the uh, parasympathetic or the rest, repair, and digest side of the autonomic mm -hmm. nervous system. And so with that, it makes it involved in almost every biological process in the body. Mm -hmm. The deficiency if, of magnesium will show itself up with people being tense or finding it very easy to be angry or unable to control their emotions, unable to go to sleep, unable to rest, uh, blood pressure issues, um, because magnesium also is involved in lengthening and relaxing things. For instance, athletes in high-performance sports will tear their muscles Mm -hmm. in deficiencies of magnesium. Uh, the arteries will harden. The diabetic conditions will get worse. Uh, I mean, the list goes on. Um, it could be anything from mild to life-threatening. Um, just okay. just one, one funny example. Cramps and twitches. Classic mm -hmm. deficiency of magnesium. Yeah. So, like that leg cramp that wakes you up in the middle of the night. Right, or the restless leg syndrome, mm -hmm. where you see people just uh, their knee going up and down, twitch, 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 you know, tuk, 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 like that kind of thing. Uh -huh. that, that's your magnesium deficient person in action. Interesting. How common is it? Oh, very common. We have um, easily 60% of people in the United States deficient, clinically deficient. And wow. uh, you could expand it to 80% somewhat deficient. So it's, um, it's very prevalent. That's quite incredible. Are there also some people that do not need magnesium? Right, there are. Um, some people are, especially the ones that do really well on the uh, hunter's diet, the high calcium requirement. People who do really well on fats and proteins, you know, the paleo diet people. They don't mm -hmm. need as much of the magnesium, or maybe mm -hmm. I should say they need much more calcium than they need magnesium. So mm -hmm. it would be okay for everyone to supplement with magnesium, but some people need to add a lot of calcium on top. But that's, that's not a lot, you know, maybe a quarter of the population. Mm -hmm. and so then, how does magnesium work? Well, I tried to get into it already a bit, but mm -hmm. uh, it... Uh, it activates the parasympathetic system, meaning that it activates the rest, repair, and digest side of your mm -hmm. uh, of your uh, physiology. So let's just say that you're excited about something, you get scared, mm -hmm. or your your tension level goes up. The autonomic goes mm -hmm. into sympathetic. The fight and flight kicks in, mm -hmm. and uh, what that does it prepares you to actually truly fight for your life or save your life. So your high blood, uh, your blood pressure goes up, your uh, digestion shuts down, body mm -hmm. focuses not on repairing damage but instead of preserving your life. Mm -hmm. So when you are in the sympathetic side, you're actually uh, not repairing anything. So that means you're aging at that time. So, so when things you, like this stress in our daily lives that keep us in that... Um, fight or flight mode on a sustained basis is is something that like that could help to explain why we're having so many of these problems with digestion and with inability to truly rest and sleep at night. Right, so. and so if there is the deficiency of magnesium, 
that uh-huh. is really made worse. Mm-hmm. And uh, when you have some magnesium on hand, you could take it right at the right time of day, like for instance after lunch or after dinner, mm-hmm. and give your body a chance to indeed get into the repair and digest side of things. Wow. Do you have some specific examples of how it works for people? Oh, sure. Like, for instance, uh, one friend of mine, same age as, same age as I, mm-hmm. athlete, in his young days, he injured himself multiple times. He, he was a sprint, so he was really, you know, performing at the national level. And uh, his career was cut short because he kept tearing his uh, hamstring muscle. Mm. These days, when he's using the topical magnesium that we will, uh, that we are promoting here, before every game, or uh, he goes plays soccer and hockey and running. Before mm-hmm. he goes out, he actually rubs this magnesium on his body, and mm-hmm. uh, he says he cannot believe the level of performance he's able to uh, to achieve. I mean, here at you know, 60 years of age, he's uh, successfully competing with 30-year-olds and wow. doing just fine, and mm-hmm. no injuries, none. So that's, that's one awesome. such example. Or, mm-hmm. or um, uh, one of our customers, for instance, a lady who's got a son, a uh, son with autistic uh, spectrum issues. Mm-hmm. She wrote that she rubs it on his legs in the evening, or actually any time she wants to calm him down and the, the symptoms just drop off. He calms down, is able to communicate, is uh, doing much better in, in all of the aspects of just mm-hmm. being there. Mm-hmm. I remember seeing also that it was um, there was a reference to helping with ADD symptoms as well and helping children to settle and to be able to focus and participate in the classroom, which can be a huge relief for for families who are struggling with those issues. Absolutely, and uh, you can see how when you disengage the uh, fight or flight, you're calming the person down. Mm-hmm. So, uh, if that person is constantly engaged because of deficiency of magnesium, mm-hmm. this problem will go away. Wow. So, what happens where there's long-term magnesium deficiency? Well, calcification, that's the hardening of things. The mm-hmm. calcifications that we experience the most is like the wrinkles on my forehead. Mm-hmm. That's Clearly, the uh, fight or flight or the aging stress is winning over, <laughs> over the um, <laughs> rest and repair. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> anyway, this will this will be showing in the hardening of the arteries, mm-hmm. the uh, uh, stiffening of things. Joints will get stiffer. They will wear faster. Uh, there mm-hmm. are medical medical names for all these conditions that we're not supposed to use here because we're not doing medicine here. Of course. But it's it's the hardening, stiffening, and uh, becoming more brittle of all mm-hmm. the tissues of the body. That's the deficiency okay. of magnesium. So you could kind of compare it in some ways to like the way that hoses that have been in, in areas where there's really mineralized water get stiff and start cracking. Yes, that sounds like a pretty good example of it. Mm. Crazy. And so are there different forms of magnesium? Are some of them better than others? Oh, yeah. Excellent question. The uh, In the mainstream, most people think that they need to supplement magnesium orally. Mm-hmm. Um, normally, you would be getting magnesium in the plants, in the groceries that, that you buy, the food you mm-hmm. eat. But unfortunately, our fields have been depleted of magnesium. Uh, the mm-hmm. fertilizers that that we're using to grow foods fast uh, cause the cause the foods to be um, hmm. they look good but they're kind of hollow. You know, broccoli looks like broccoli, but it doesn't have the minerals it used to have. I, I right. in fact have a study here uh, that shows that uh, in the last 50 years the uh, magnesium content has gone down by 70 percent. As mm-hmm. in, it, it's it's. 30% of what it was 50 years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, magnesium citrate is the most common and uh, easily accessible oral form. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. uh, there are also some fancier ones like magnesium orotate or taurate. These are already chelated for better mm -hmm. absorption, so they will cost more. Mm -hmm. The challenge with oral magnesium is that it causes bowel flush. Mm -hmm. At about 2,000 milligrams of magnesium, you will cause the bowel to empty quite right. quickly. Quite quickly, I've experimented with it, and it can be, you may have like 10, 15 minutes after you take oh, the wow. dose, and you better be close to a toilet. <laughs> good to know. <laughs> yes, good to know. So anyway, the point is this. Uh, if a person is in magnesium deficiency, they need to take maybe 2,000 milligrams a day, but when mm -hmm. they take that dose, that will cause the bowel flush. Right. So for that reason, you might want to take magnesium topically. It will mm -hmm. absorb through the skin, like, you know, you can put it on, all over your body, everywhere. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Avoiding sensitive areas. Oh, yeah. It's very stingy. As when, you, when you use a um, concentrated mineral su uh, supplement on your skin, it could mm -hmm. burn on broken, chafed, sunburned uh, skin. Yeah. Could okay. be unpleasant. So not on the face and definitely not on the soft tissues. Right. But I put it merrily on my belly and my legs, and it works beautifully. Mm -hmm. um, for that, and you would use magnesium chloride. Right. That's, that is what we use. Uh, another alternative is magnesium sulfate, also known as Epsom salts. Right. The magnesium okay. chloride is twice more concentrated. Like mm. for, a, for a dose, like when it's a teaspoon or however much you use, the, there's twice as much uh, uh, molecular magnesium or mm -hmm. Available uh, ele magnesium. elemental. Yeah, elemental magnesium is the word. Okay. In the uh, volume of the magnesium chloride. And also, the chloride is quite good because it's used in your digestive system to right. make hydrochloric acid, so it will improve your digestion. Awesome. Um, so how does your product compare to other competitors? Ah, Transderma Magnesium mm -hmm. is, uh, well, we use pure magnesium chloride, USP pure, meaning the United States Pharmacology. So it's right. pure enough to actually use in uh, intravenous injections. Wow. But, it's the same purity. Anyway, we use it either topically mm -hmm. as, a, as an oil that you can rub on your skin mm -hmm. or as a gel that's a little stiffer so it doesn't fall off or drip off so easily. Mm -hmm. And we also have it available in crystals, which can be used in bath soaks or in foot soaks. Okay. And it's very affordable. I mean, if, if the person's done their research, they will find that there are other companies promoting ancient minerals. They all come from about 250 million years ago when the Permian Sea evaporated. Yeah. There are deposits in Europe, and there also are deposits in America. In, okay. in America, they are in Utah, Nevada, and Arizona, and mm -hmm. that's where most of uh, our product comes from. Okay. So it's pure, and it's topical, and it's affordable. Our pricing is about... Um, 50% less than the major competitor. And wow. the main reason for that is because we don't have to ship it all the way from Europe, I think. Mm -hmm. And so that you're saying that it's very pure and that there's no contamination factors involved there? Right. Yeah, people have a big deal of contamination, as they should, because mm -hmm. uh, there is an industrial version of this available. Like magnesium chloride is actually used as a sidewalk de-icer and road de-icer. Wow. And so there are deposits that are not um, purity controlled. And it's very uh -huh. inexpensive. Like yeah, The industrial version of it is really, really cheap. Mm -hmm. But it's not safe to use. No. So that's, that's marvelous, though, that you have been able to work with Transderma to, to find this really high-quality product and be able to bring it to the customers of Life Enthusiasts at a reasonable price. I should mention one last difference, a major mm -hmm. difference. We use an energy chamber. Uh, it was invented by Jim Carter. It's called the Star Chamber. It's, it's, okay. it's an organ accumulator, mm -hmm. uh, meaning this energy shift will lower the surface tension and change the uh, alignment of molecules in the fluid. Right. Makes it makes it much more absorbable. So the product we have absorbs faster and more completely than just 
anything that you might uh, get elsewhere. Right. So approximately how much do you put on and you use it daily or how often? Yeah. If you're using the crystals, a teaspoon mm -hmm. of that is 2,000 milligrams of magnesium. So that's about the recommended daily dose for people in deficiencies. Um, if you dissolve it, if you dissolve mm -hmm. it, it turns into about three teaspoons of liquid. Okay. Right. So you can make a saturated solution from the crystals. That's correct. Yeah. And so okay. you would rub, you would rub about two or maybe three teaspoons of that on the body every day. Okay. And if someone was wanting to do it as a bath soak or a foot soak, approximately how much would they need to put into a single tubful? Maybe a quarter cup of the crystals would do it. Okay. So, Martin, can you show me and show our viewers uh, what it looks like on the website? Yes. So here we are looking at the Life Enthusiast website, life-enthusiast.com. Mm -hmm. And in the products categories, you can find magnesium. When uh -huh. you click on that, you will see there are some videos. And here are all of the products that we have in the magnesium category. And in the Transderma, you can see that the magnesium crystals, we mm -hmm. ship them in the tubs that look something like this, um, available in three sizes. Mm -hmm. And also, we have it available as the oil and gel. So the um, magnesium oil, for instance, um, somewhere here. Here we go. So the magnesium oil, again, is available in multiple sizes, 4 mm -hmm. ounce, 12 ounce, gallon, and also with aloe vera. Okay. Um, and you can uh, watch the video that explains it, and you can click on the additional details where you'll be able to read about ingredients and mm -hmm. other details and customer testimonials and reviews. Awesome. So if somebody thinks that Yes, this, this sounds like something that I need and I want to order it. Where do they go? To, to the Life Enthusiast website, or is there another option as well? Uh, we also sell this on Amazon. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't have that link ready, but if you okay. type in Transderma, that's T-R-A-N-S-D-E-R-M-A, mm -hmm. in the search, you will definitely find it on Amazon. Awesome. And we'll, we'll provide the link nearby. OK. So that I think that's everything for today. So thanks so much for taking the time to, to meet with us and to talk about the, the Transderma Minerals products. Absolutely. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Uh, people, <laughs> the message is most of you need magnesium, so it's, that's probably you. Consider <laughs> it if, if you have the symptoms associated with it and we will list them here on the page so you can see them. Um, consider adding it to your daily routine. Thank you very much.